spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. Oh my god, I don't believe it. They finally got that son of a bitch Briggs. You know that guy? You're damn right I do. Bobby Briggs is the one who put me in this wheelchair. Yeah, they got him. They finally got him. Jeez, Joe. You okay? Are you wearing a wire? <laughs> oh, you're dead, Joe Swansonson. My undercover name was Swansonson. Easy, Briggs. You kill a cop, they'll put you away forever. Then get ready to spend the rest of your life as a lame gimp with an annoying voiced wife. He'd met Bonnie. That funny? Look at that weird nose. I think your nose is weird. Guys, I'm telling you, I, I just don't think I could live with Briggs on the lam for another 15 years. Well, why don't you do something about it? I can't do anything about it. The chief won't let me. So if they don't find this guy, it's gonna eat you alive for the rest of your life. You gotta take matters into your own hands. You gotta go after this guy. I've spent the last 15 years gathering information on him, and it's all here. Every crime he's committed, every associate he's had... Oh, look, Briggs was all county JV swimming. I don't just focus on the negative. Joe, your 25-year-old son and your baby daughter share a room just so you can keep a weirdo beautiful mind room? Isn't that a little bizarre? Peter! Clean that up, you idiot! Love you! Boy, it'll be satisfying to finally slap the cuffs on Briggs once and for all. Hey, you ever just drive through a town and wonder, who the hell lives here? And so I say unto you, sons of liberty, no longer will free men live under the yoke of giant predatory birds, shrieking, swooping down, stealing our livestock. What's going on in here? N nothing Uh, just bellyaching about the British. Get back to warming those eggs. Hey, are you Tanya? Yeah, who are you? A guy who's looking for Bobby Briggs. Where is he? I don't know any Bobby Briggs. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. You're lying! Joe, let me handle this. I know how to communicate with strippers. All I need is one dance, and I'll know everything she knows. You free for a dance? Sure. Oh, this guy has sugar cereals. His mom must be so cool. And he's got a trash compactor. <laughs> It compacted it all! That is so boss! Aha! Uh -huh. We meet again, Briggs. Damn it, that's Lois. If I don't get this, she's gonna kill me. Oh, thank God. Cops. Oh, good. You guys can still catch Briggs. He's headed that way. We're not here for him. We're here for you guys. You're under arrest for interfering with a police investigation. What? Yeah, what the hell? You should be out there arresting the real criminals. Like switchblade-wielding white guys from movies and TV who don't talk like people talk. Isn't that cute? Meow. Stop it! I'm trying to watch my program! Well, Chris, look, Mom's naked! Where? Ah, you creep. <gasps> no! Peter, what's going on in here? And your bunga! You, you imbeciles! You ruined my night! I ask for one thing in this house! Stewie, just watch your show upstairs. Happy birthday, Stewie! And here's your equal attention cake, Peter. Yay! <sighs> oh, come on! Yay, double wishes! <laughs> one? Ugh. All right, Rupert, prepare to time travel. 
Oh, and by the way, thanks for asking me if I wanted something from Subway, too. What the devil? What's going on? Where am I? It's a boy. I'm in a hospital. My soul must have found another carrier. I've been reborn. Welcome to the world, baby chap. <gasps> I'm British? All right. Oh, I wonder if I'll have one of those pug-nosed British dogs that licks its own snot all day. My heavens, my father is the commander of the most excellent order of the British Empire, Dean of Physics at Oxford, and he was pre-approved for a Capital One No Hassle card. Oh, okay, so he's just framing everything. Stuart, these are your brothers, Jaden and Aiden. Jaden was first form in his sixth levels, and he's chief scrum flanker on his varsity boogling team. There we are. Sorry I couldn't squeeze no more juice out of me nippers. Oh, that's all right. I can't be mad at someone who lost seven sons in the war. All right, my little lord. It's time for bed. Why isn't Mommy tucking me in? Oh, hush, love. You're born now. That's the end of all this mummy nonsense. Almost there. Just a few more adjustments. Stuart! <gasps> what are you doing? And you as well. Ah, damn it! Help me, Stewie! Lift it off! Ugh, that looks really heavy. It is, and it's incredibly painful! Please help! You know, you'll be fading away any moment. You know, it it'll be a lot of effort, ultimately, for nothing. I'm choking on my own blood! Call someone, please! Well, again, it was great knowing you. Ah, you bastard! You'll burn in hell! All right, we're just going to take a quick cap smear. Don't you mean pap smear? No. At this hospital, we obtained the sample using beloved British comic strip roustabout, Andy Cap. Hello, love. Let's have a smear. I'm not letting you do that. You can't even see. That's all right, bird. I goes by smell. Ah! <laughs> My God! <laughs> Come on, keep pedaling. Dinner starts in an hour. <laughs> Damn it, Peter! Oh, great. You broke the chain, and now we have to walk. Unless we hitchhike. Hitchhike? You know how dangerous that is? Besides, we're in the middle of nowhere. I did it, yeah. I'm going in and getting us a turkey, Brian. Hey, buddy. You want to come to my house so my wife can cook you wrong? <laughs> Damn it! Peter, this is never going to work. All right, just leave the turkey alone. The poor thing is... Ah! Ah! Crap. Easy there. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. Hey, buddy, you're blocking the outlet. Oh, sorry, there was no cheers. Hi, Peter. How was Vegas? Oh, it's the best. Yay! My nose is finally a woman! Okay, so maybe he's a little rough around the edges, but... Oh, boy, a little got in my mouth there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash this shirt. Anyway, I'm gonna help Chris become a big, important success. The same way Mumford turned his son into a success. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I've been trying to make Chris less of a fat dummy, and nothing seems to be working. So now we're high-stepping around in giant hats. Tip of the giant hat, sir! And to you, sir. Yes, sir. Smart day to you, sir. And I thank you, sir. Ah! Ah I scraped my knee bad. But 
No man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Catherine Keener man now. But Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> yep, we missed it. Come on, get out of here. Paul was a good man. A good friend. I'll... I'll always remember how supportive he was when... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't... I can't do this. Thanks for coming to the book club meeting, everyone. Well, I gotta say, I love this week's book, Annie Proust's The Shipping News. Yes, yes, yes. Very Portnoy's complaint. I don't... What, uh... What do you mean by that? Oh, you know, just with the... the the port and the shipping. And, and of course, in Portnoy's complaint, you've got the guy who's living near the water, 